Hello, 7th grade, and welcome to the last lesson of Chapter 6. This is Applications of Rational Numbers. So we're going to go ahead and take all those sort of things you've learned in this chapter, and we're going to apply it to rational numbers in this lesson. So our objective, you're going to be able to apply rational numbers. You're also going to be able to estimate percents using fractions and decimals. So... When we do this, we're going to have a lot of multi-step problems here. But we have the skills now to solve these, so we're going to go ahead and do it. So here's an example. Jan has spent $75 at the store. She spent 25 hundredths of the money on a sweater, 22% on shoes, 4 tenths of the money on a jacket, and the rest on a shirt. Which item costs the most? So in order to find that out, we need to figure out how much she spent on each item. Well, we know the whole amount she had was 75%. So we need to find out the cost of the sweater, the shoes, the jacket, and the shirt. That's what we have to do here. So first, we know she spent 25 hundredths of the money. Well, that means of the whole. So 25 hundredths of 75 and I believe when you multiply those together, all right, you are going to end up with $18.75. That's how much she spent on the sweater. On the shoes, she spent 22% of the money. So 22% of 75. But again, I switch that to a decimal, and then I solve. So 22 hundredths times 75 is $16.50. And she is finding quite some good deals today, it looks like. And then the jacket, she spent four tenths of the money. Well, on this one, you could leave it as four tenths and times by 75. All right, you could certainly do it that way, or if you prefer, you could switch it to a decimal. It's entirely up to you. All right, so four tenths times 75 is $30. And that's how much she spent so far. So she spent $18.75 on a sweater, $16.50 on shoes, and $30 on a jacket. Well, and they just say she spent the rest of the money, whatever was left over, on a shirt. Well, let's see what was left over. So we add those together. 30 plus $16.50 plus $18.75. Oops. 8 plus 6 plus 1 is 15, and then let's see, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I believe she spent $65.25. So, well, we subtract that from 8, or excuse me, $75. And we're just going to go through the work here. She spent $9.75 on a shirt. So, we have to take a look now and find what items cost the most. Well, it certainly looks like she spent the most on the jacket. So, again, we use, well, we solved an equation with um, decimals. We solved one with a percent. We solved just a fraction. And we use those scales to find the cost of the shirt. Now it's your turn. Same idea. An event planner has a $2,000 budget for an event. She spent 32% of the budget on chairs, four tenths of the budget on food, a fifth of it on door prizes, and $160 on decorations. On which part did she spend the most? So you're going to do what I did. Go ahead and find each piece and find out what costed the most. So go ahead and pause me now. All right, let's go ahead and solve this one. So she spent 32% of her budget, that $2,000, on chairs. So if I multiply that out, first switching that to a decimal, of course. So 32 hundredths times 2,000, and you get $640. All right, then it says she spent 4 tenths of her budget on food. So, 4 tenths times 2,000 is $800. And then we have door prizes, which is something I love going for. 
let's see, so door prizes, one-fifth of 2000 should be $400. All right, and then $160 on decorations. So if we take a look, what item costed the most? Well, it looks like the food did at $800. So that would be your answer. All right, now we're going to look at ratios. Gavin reads 40 pages of a book in 32 minutes. Brian can read 20% more pages of the same book in 40 minutes. Who actually reads faster? So in this one, there's a few different steps going on that we have to solve. We need to find out Gavin's rate. Then we have to figure out what 20% is and just so on. So we need to figure out what each rate is. Well, it's easy enough with Gavin's because they tell us the information. He can read 40 pages in 32 minutes. So if you divide that out, 40 divided by 32, you get 1 and 25 hundredths. So he can read 1 and 25 hundredths of a page per minute. All right? Now, Brian, he says he can just read 20% more pages of the book. So we need to figure out 20% of, well, how many pages? 40. So next step, we have to do 20% of 40 to find out how many pages Brian can actually read. So 20% or 20 hundredths times 40 is 8. So he can read 8 more pages. All right? Now, they say more of the pages, so we're going to add that in. So Brian, all right, he not only reads 40 pages, he reads 48 pages. Because 40 plus 8 is 48. But it takes him 40 minutes. So if we divide that out to find his unit rate, we get 1 and 2 tenths pages per minute. Which shows us, well, Gavin is actually the faster reader because he can read five hundredths of a page more in a minute than Brian can. So that was that piece. We talked about ratios. Now what we're going to look at now is estimation because you're not always going to have a calculator and you're not always going to find the exact cost when you go out. But you can estimate to find out about how much would it cost with the tip or with the tax or whatever else. Down at the bottom here I have just common ones that you'd use. So one-tenth, that's what you normally see. One-fourth, a third, two-fifths, one-half, two-thirds, I'm a little off here, three-fourths, four-fifths, nine-tenths, and one. So you want to use one of those because those are easier ones to figure out. All right, so those are common ones for estimating. Here's what we have. The RDI for iron, so the recommended daily intake is what that means, is 18 milligrams. If a serving of cereal has 25% of the RDI for iron, about how many milligrams of iron are in one serving? Now, this about here tells me it's okay to estimate. All right, 25% is easy enough to use. So 25% of what? Well, 18. Well, that's an okay amount, I guess. But if I can estimate, I might as well just make it 20. Because 20, year, 20 is easier to use. So 25%, or if I wanted to, 25 hundredths of 20 is 5. You'd go ahead and multiply that out. So 5 milligrams of iron is in about that cereal. All right? So here's one, another one with estimating. We're going to do this one together. All right, a pair of shoes is 25% off of $29.95. After the discount, a 6 and 5 tenths percent sales tax is added. Is $20 enough money to buy these shoes? Well, I have the steps along the side to help us out, but I think we can talk through this too. We're estimating, so we need to figure out, would $20 be enough for these shoes? So first, I have to find out how much am I paying for these shoes? All right, I have a discount of 25% of, well, $29.95. Again, I'm estimating. So I'm going to round that to, excuse me, round that to 30. So 25 hundredths times 30 is $7.50 off. So the discount is $7.50. So I need to find out the actual cost of the shoe. Well, if they costed $30 and I get a discount of $7.50, 
that means they're actually $22.50 for the shoes. All right, so I'm going to pay about $22.50 for just the shoes. All right, but then in our great state, there's always a tax. So I have to get taxed 6 and 5 tenths percent. Well, again, I'm going to switch that to a decimal, and then I multiply that out. So 22.50 times 65 thousandths, and I get about $1.46 added on to my bill. So 22.50 for the shoes plus $1.46 for tax, and I'm going to pay about $23.96 for my shoes. So I go back to the top. Is $20 enough? Uh, that would be a big fat no because I'm well over that. So that's your lesson for today. Today we talked about how you can use those equations, those decimals, those percents to find uh, parts of a cost. And you can also use it to estimate the cost of shoes or whatever else. So you have a great night. I will see you in class tomorrow. Ciao. Ciao.